In my video I did a while ago about competing, was it worth it, was it not worth it, the number one question asked in the comment section was, can you show me an example of what a typical day in the life looked like? What were you eating? How were you training? How intense was it? And well, I thought I could absolutely do a full day of eating and a day in the life like that, putting myself through that hell again, uh, I don't want to. So instead, what I decided I would do is I would pick some TikToks up of other bikini pros showing their full days of eating, and I would give you my thoughts on their full days of eating. But before we get into that, we have to take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Element. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix that includes everything you would want in an electrolyte drink to rehydrate you and nothing that you wouldn't want. Most electrolyte drink mixes on the market include a lot of added sugars and junk that you just don't need to rehydrate. Element has none of that. At only five calories per serving and a ton of delicious flavors to choose from, Element does the job of making sure you rehydrate after your workouts. I first heard about Element through my trainer Alex Bush from Physique Development when I was complaining about headaches getting in the way of my strength training workouts first thing in the morning. He recommended I try Element and I've been using it and loving it ever since and of course the headaches went away and my energy levels went up. Since then it has been my pre-workout of choice. Element is used by everyone from Olympic athletes to everyday moms and dads. Right now Element is offering viewers of this video a free sample pack to try all their eight flavors with the purchase of any order. That's eight single serving packets free with the purchase of any element order. You can get yours now by going to drinkelement.com slash Juliana. This deal is only available through my link in the description, so head to drinklmnt.com slash Juliana. I am currently drinking their, what am I drinking? I'm currently drinking their watermelon flavor. I also love their raspberry flavor and grapefruit flavor. And I love drinking their chocolate flavor with a little bit of warm almond milk at night. Really helps me keep those chocolate cravings at bay. Thank you so much to Element for sponsoring this video. So let's get into it. What I eat in a day as an IFBB pro on prep. Starting my day out with the Rebalance Greens. I have two rice cakes with peanut butter and salt for my pre-workout. After my workout, I have two whole eggs. With Speaking of salt, Element, best pre-workout just saying it's some cream of rice with cookie butter and jelly in it then my midday coffee with sugar-free vanilla creamer i have a whole apple with cookie butter and a protein shake whoa 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 a whole apple not a half one okay i then have some chicken tacos with all the toppings guac taco sauce you know the jam i have a fig newton and another protein shake before dinner which is fried rice and shrimp and for dessert two popsicles one important takeaway to note is that the diet of a bikini competitor is going to change depending on where she is in her season and where she is in her prep on prep basically means i'm x weeks out from a show i'm essentially dieting so this woman is actually dieting in this video what i love about her diet is that she is doing including the things that are like the non-negotiables for her i bet you that this coffee with creamer is an absolute non-negotiable for her and she's probably going to keep the creamer in there until like maybe peak week because she just loves the creamer the other thing to point out is that as a pre-workout snack she's adding salt in because salt has been shown to be really really helpful as a pre-workout for strength training sessions i remember i used to take like a pre-workout and caffeine but then i eventually just decided hey i just like drinking coffee I don't need that much additional caffeine. So the takeaway here is the diet on prep is going to depend on where you are in your season and how many days out you are from being at a show. Here is a full day of eating as an IFBB bikini pro competitor. Half a cup oats with five strawberries, one cup egg whites with some Nesquik to make chocolate eggs. I know what you're thinking, those chocolate eggs, wow, that sounds really interesting and good. It's probably not. There's really nothing that you can add to egg whites to make them taste like chocolate. It's just, it tastes like what it is, chocolate flavored egg whites. Don't get too excited. Then right before my workout, I have a shake with a scoop and a third of protein, half a cup of oatmeal and coconut oil and one banana. Now 45 minutes after my workout, I'm having another scoop and a third of protein and two rice cakes with marshmallows. Can I just pause that for a second? That is a lot of scoops of protein powder. I don't know how she's feeling satiated off of that, especially when dieting. I know for me, like if I have protein powder, it definitely doesn't feel as satiating and filling as a uh, steak or chicken or egg whites. So I don't know, I could never, when I was on prep, I could never rely off of too much protein powder because it just, 
I was just hungry. Again, savage. It is now one o'clock and I'm having six ounces of chicken with half a cup brown rice and green beans and 150 grams of cantaloupe. Standard. Now it is four o'clock and I'm having six ounces of steak with red potatoes and zucchinis. I don't see a lot of potatoes there. That's pretty typical. The carbs tend to kind of dwindle away towards the nighttime um, or the far, not towards the nighttime, correct me on that the farther you are away from your training session. So notice she had her training session in the morning. She's eating less carbs the farther out she gets from her training session because they're not as useful unless it's around training. Last meal of the day, it's 7.45 and I'm having six ounces of salmon with some yep. red onions, asparagus, and avocado. So as you can see, like this is her last meal of the day and she's not eating, she's not eating any starchy carbs because it's far away from her workout. Not because eating carbs at night is bad. You wanna eat carbs at night and you're dieting, you can do that, it's totally okay. But as a bikini pro, you are optimizing the hell out of pretty much anything. Like you could see when she was talking about literally 45 minutes after her workout, she's eating her post-workout protein and carbs. Like that's optimizing the hell out of things because every little thing matters. The average person that just wants to look really hot on the beach, you don't need to do all this stuff. It doesn't matter when you eat your carbs, but generally speaking, it's a good idea to place the most carb intake around your workout if you're working out that day. So that looked pretty standard, nothing crazy to me there. I did like the marshmallow with rice crispy treat. That sounded like a fun time. Like why not do that? I might try that, like not even dieting, just why not make your own homemade rice crispy treat? I know. Here's a full day of eating from a bikini competitor who's currently two days out from her first ever bodybuilding show. So we are starting to carb up, which is very exciting. No artificial sweeteners right now, so I'm just doing black coffee. Then I went to the lake and I had some cream of- So the reason why they don't want to do artificial sweeteners on peak week is because they blow you. Not because there's anything particularly bad about artificial sweeteners, but they're just something you want to stay away from before you step on stage in a bikini because you just don't want any additional water retention or bloat. Had some cream of rice, mixed berries, some cinnamon and eggs. Peak week is just all about obviously peaking and a big part of it is relaxing. So I decided to go to the lake and relax and it was amazing. Brought my dog and this was his first time swimming and he loved it. Came home and then I had some broccoli, chicken, avocado, and potatoes. These meals are pretty boring. And I had some chicken, rice, asparagus, and watermelon. For my next meal, I had the same thing. Remember, I am in contest prep right now. This is not sustainable. I'm just simply sharing what I'm eating. And then I had some rice crispy cereal with banana and strawberries. Very delicious and I'm very excited. All right, so as you can see, there's a, definitely a huge difference between the calorie intakes of the bikini pros and the girl doing her first show. I remember when I was doing my first show, I was dieting off of, I think like 1300 calories and change. It was really low and I was, you know, exercising pretty intensely. That's pretty standard for a newbie bikini competitor. It's really rough because you don't have that much muscle yet. As you go in, years and years into your competing journey, you start to build up more muscle in your off seasons. And so you can cut down on more food, which is great. <laughs> All right, here's what I eat post-show reverse diet edition. How exciting. So first I had 45 minutes fasted cardio and then I had my fasted drink with cardio. I had EAAs and some glutamine. And then this is my first meal. I decided to do something different and blend it and make it into a pancake. It's just oats, egg whites, and two eggs. I only put one egg in the blender because I wanted to save one egg to have it runny. Um, but I made that into a pancake and then I topped it with sugar-free syrup and it was honestly really freaking good. And then I had my supplements and then I studied for like literally ever. And then I contemplated life and then I was like, oh my God, I get to eat again. And I just had chicken and some veggie paper bowl life. And then I had to run to Sam's Club for food. You know what it is, anabolic. Um, and then I had beef, veggies, and rice. And that's a sauce that I've been using. And then I studied some more because life is good. And then I had chicken and veggies again. And then we studied some more and had some more supplements. I went on a walk outside because I need to clear my mind from all this studying. Beautiful view, honestly. And then I had some smoked salmon and salad and some dressing and 
glutamine and lemon juice, more supplements, and then I had beef, rice, and veggies, and pineapple. I forgot to show the pineapple. And then I went... <laughs> okay. I don't know, that girl crossed me up. But yeah, that is a lot of supplements there. So here's the thing, reverse dieting, if you haven't heard of the term, the idea of reverse dieting is that after you are done with diets and your calories, Let's say you cut down to 12% body fat levels, which is insane for a show, and you're only eating 1300 calories. The idea with reverse dieting is instead of going back up to your maintenance calories right away, you slowly increase your calories week to week and pause until your weight stabilizes. So for example, after a show, what you would do is instead of going straight back up to like your maintenance at 1800 calories, what you would do to minimize body fat is you would go from 1300 calories to 1400 calories. And then you would wait until your weight stabilizes again. And then another week would go on and you would go up to 1500 calories. A lot of people do this post show. I hate it. I freaking hate reverse dieting. I think it is a freaking, I don't want to call it a scam, but I feel scammed by reverse dieting because I would do shows and come out of competition prep periods where I would just go straight up to maintenance calories. And I was way happier if I did it that way because I would just get my hormones and my health and everything back much quicker. Reverse dieting prolongs the process and it prolongs the calorie deficit. In my thinking, you just wanna get out of the calorie deficit as soon as possible, especially when you are that lean. And even if you gain five pounds, 10 pounds right off the bat, that's weight that you probably need to gain because living and looking at stage lean levels is not okay. I remember when you get down to such lean levels and it, you're like so hyper-focused on it, you experience some levels of like body dysmorphia. And I remember wanting to reverse diet because I wanted to hang on to the leanness as much as possible, but it's just not healthy. It's not healthy. And so I am like very anti-reverse diet. I just am of the school of thought of just go, instead of slowly going, increasing your calories, just go straight back up to maintenance. Also, the times when I would slowly reverse diet out of shows, it's almost like I prolonged the body dysmorphia longer in my head when I really just needed to get over it and just gain some weight and be a normal human, if that makes any sense. But when I was reverse dieting, it's almost like I just was just, I felt like my propensity to binge was way more intense. So yeah, that's my two cents on reverse dieting. Don't do it. Just go back up to maintenance calories. You're gonna gain the same amount of weight eventually. So just gain it quickly and get your hormones and health back faster. That's my two cents on that. Love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next video.